Hi everyone, Amanda here. So I'm back again. Um, this is my uh, second video. I did one last week, just sort of like telling you that I was coming back. But this is an actual haul video. Obviously, I have said that I'm going to do um, Vlogember, not Christmas this year. So the Vlogember will start um, on the 1st of November. Um, and actually I'm going away to a little place um, in the Midlands. So yeah, so that will be quite exciting because I'll be able to film some things around there as well and you'll be able to see how beautiful it is because it is a very beautiful place where I'm going to. So, without further ado, I'm back. Now, please bear with me because I might be a little bit nervous. I haven't been on a video for quite a while now. Um, and so, yeah, so I've got my first haul video. I've got quite a mixture, I think. I've got some clothes. I hope the light's okay. I'm trying to do it in the light. It's a bit dreary today with the rain and everything. So please bear with me with the light. Um, I am just, I could probably put my, this on, but I don't make any difference. Um, there's a little light on the, um, well, it's like a little new telescopic thing that I've got that I can actually like now. I've got no hands. <laughs> so it's great because you can just sort of like, you know, talk and everything to it, which is fantastic. Um, it only costs £20 on Amazon and it's absolutely fantastic. You can just like uh, use it as a selfie stick so I can take it out as well um, to um, when I'm going out and about. Um, and yeah, I've been learning a few tricks actually. It's quite good actually when you actually go on to um, you know try to learn things about how you photograph things but anyway I'm not going to go on about that I'm going on about my haul today so yes yeah. so the first thing that I got um, was this so I picked it up in a charity shop um, it is a crombie coat as you can see now the crombie coat is very stylish. A gentleman always loves this crombie coat. Always kind of reminds me of like Peaky Blinders, doesn't it? That's what it reminds me of me for me. Um, it's got the, as you can see here, as you can see there, it's got the actually beautiful lining in it as well. So there's the lining here, you can see. It's beautiful lining, and this is by Taylor. It's probably going to be upside down. But it's Taylor, S Savoy Taylor's Guild. Okay, Savoy Taylor's Guild. So yeah, so it's an absolutely beautiful one. And the best thing about it is, gosh, it only cost me like £10. And I was, I was coming and ahhing about it. And I thought, Do you know what, I'm going to try it. It is 100% cashmere. So a really good find. A beautiful coat as well it absolutely feels amazing I can't tell you how amazing this coat feels it just feels so soft so yeah and all the buttons are there I always check for the buttons I always check as well for the lining before I purchase anything all the buttons are even there on the coat as well um, and it says it's 100% visco lining so yeah so it's a very nice coat um, so yeah, so I paid £10 for that, so I was really happy with that one. So that was that one up there. I'm going to put it up there and hope it doesn't fall. Because <laughs> I've decided to do it in my bedroom now. Because also I think I said to you I did used to have a room, but I've now decided that I can't have loads of stuff. So I literally buy stuff, sell stuff. Um, then obviously if it goes, it goes. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. And it's obviously down to me, but I usually sell about maybe about 90% of my stuff, but 10% always have to go back to charity. Because, you know, we don't know everything in life and sometimes things work out and sometimes they don't, don't they? So yeah, so that's my first item. My second item is this, which is Guess. So this is a Guess coat, bomber jacket style. This is going to need a couple of, um, the defluffing thing that I've got on it for getting the bubbles off it, but it's actually a very nice jacket. A very nice jacket indeed. So my kind of motto is now is that 
I don't know about you guys, but eBay for me now is not as good as it used to be. I don't know what's going on with eBay. I really don't. Um, but yeah, so we're trying to find other places to sell. So this will just go on my Depop. Depop is changing as well, isn't it? So I'm going to try this one on Depop, I think. This is a guest. And it is a really nice coat. It's got the guest buttons on it as well, as you can see there. So it's got guest buttons. So yeah, so it's a lovely, lovely jacket. Um, and again, I paid five pounds for this, so you know I'm hoping to get a good return on it. And this one has already kind of been on eBay already. Um, this is on eBay already. And this is um, actually I think is it Times with Jr. He has a few of these things, hasn't he? Before I think he picks them up. And I would pick them up because I used to live near there. The House of Brewer. The so House of Brewer is a lovely little place just down from Pitlochry. Um, in um, in the Highlands of Scotland is where I used to live. Um, and it's a beautiful place. And the House of Brewer's stuff is absolutely gorgeous. So as you can see, it's got the red piping, the gold buttons. They're all detailed buttons as well. It's even got like the little sort of, here you can see, little hook sort of things on here which actually is quite a good detail so yeah so it looked great with a pair of jeans it's a great autumn colour as well being that green colour so yeah so I picked that one up and say that one's on eBay at the moment then I picked this one up in Arundel so this as you can see is Aston Martin it is a um, zips jacket so it's uh, you know a full zip jacket as you can see you can still see that it's still got the tag thing on it so it's still got the actually it's never been worn it's got the tag here as well the aston mine tag by hackett so yeah this is a very good jacket so that's by hackett um very very good um menswear in london hackett is uh, so yeah so very very good and uh yeah really pleased with that I picked that up for five pound in um, Arundel, so yeah, so I thought that was a really good buy as well. Um, so yeah, that was in the I think it was in the cancer research, I think. But yeah, it's good, it's good, good find. And then I was like going through them again, and I came across another couple of things as well, all Aston Martin. So we have that one. <coughs> And then we have this one, again, which is Aston Martin. Now this one didn't have a tag on it, I don't think. If you've got a tag, I can't find it, it must have fallen off. But yeah, so it's XXL, as you can see, it's Hackett London. Um, and it's got a, obviously the green and the silver, which is actually quite nice actually. Uh, it's a long sleeved one, it's got the emblem on it as well. Um, both buttons as well. I always check the buttons as well. It says Aston Martin on it as well. Um, racing. So it says Aston Martin Racing actually on these buttons. So yeah, a great another another find. Beautiful find as well. And again, I paid five pounds for that one as well. So I'm hoping to kind of get about I don't know, maybe thirty pounds for this one. I think. So yeah, so I'm really happy with that. And again, it's got Hackett on the back. The next one that I got was this one. Now this one, again, I was looking through the rail, and it doesn't. It has, it's not an Aston Martin one. This one, but it is Hackett still, and it says Hackett of, as you can see there, Hackett of Mayfair, and it's got the medium there, and it says Italian yarn. Can you see? It says cotton, silk, and cashmere. So this is a very desirable, <laughs> desirable jumper, really nice. In fact, I know definitely that my um, sister's boyfriend, Ben, absolutely loves very, very quality, good quality things. And I'm sure he'd absolutely love this. So yeah, so I was toying to give it to him, but I thought, no, I know, I can't, I've got, I've got, I've got to sell these things, I've got to sell these things. So yeah, so um, 
it's got the hat kit on it, it's got the it's still got the tag on it and everything. Um and yeah, it's obviously a half button one, which is what he likes. Um so yeah. And one of the bit the bit the love the bit I actually love is the patches on the back. So can you see those? I don't know really you can probably see them, they're, they're actually on there. If you can see that. There's a patch there. And it's just there. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it just looks really nice. Very stylish. Really nice. That would be really nice for a pair of chinos or even like a pair of really nice jeans. So yeah, again, I'm hoping to get money back on that one as well. Paid five pounds for that one as well. So yeah, thought I did very well with those. So we'll see. Roll new bit at the moment. So yeah, on my shop. Um, so yeah, we'll just see how they go. I got this one, which again, I haven't actually put it on eBay yet, but I will do. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm toying whether to put it on to, um, whether to put it on to, um, what we call it, it's, it's my, Massimo Duty, so I don't know, maybe I'll sell on Vintage, I don't know, but yeah, um, but anyway, I will definitely sell it, um, probably eBay, um, and again, it's got a little button in it as well, it's got nice little touches, I like it when they've got nice little touches like this, so they've got a button in there, obviously, if you lose a button, um, it had a couple of marks on it, I noticed, down the bottom, but I've actually washed them, I've, what I've done is I, I went with a baby wipe and actually got them out, so you actually can't really see them anymore. So that's a good tip, always use baby wipes. Um, but yeah, how good is that, how nice is that? It's a lovely one isn't it? Again, it's a Ben shirt, <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, be lovely with a pair of jeans. So yeah, so I think that that is a really really good item, I'm very pleased with that as well. If anyone's got any Tottenham Hotspur fans in here, this was four pound. I paid four pounds for this. Now you're going to say, "Well, four pound for a scarf? Maybe, maybe a little bit, you know, a little bit expensive." But who wouldn't want to wear a scarf like this at football? Could you just imagine one of these, like um, Oxford students or um, university students? You know, wearing a Tottenham scarf at the football like this. I mean, it's like it's a little bit more, it's a heritage one. So yeah, it's official merchandise, but it looks a little bit, and it's got the actual emblem on it as well. So yeah, so I think, you know, I think really I picked up you know, quite a good one really there. Because it does look like one of those, um, those college scarves, doesn't it? So yeah, so I think that that's probably a good... Good as a pickup, maybe. I think I'm guessing, I don't know, but yeah, so yeah, I think it is. It's got a lovely little tassel on it as well. I don't want Tottenham playing again, but I know it's the uh, Merseyside derby today. Oh, god, yeah, that'll be good, won't you? For people who are in the Liverpool supporters, I think I've got a couple of people that I know are Liverpool supporters. My sister's. Uh, partner as well. He's a Liverpool supporter because he's from Liverpool so I guess he would be a Liverpool supporter. <laughs> um, and we have this one. Now this is a man's jacket again. A gentleman's jacket. I really like gentleman's jackets. I think they sell very very well as well especially in the winter. Not particularly in the summer but I've every every coat I've ever picked up Crombie coats, I love crombie coats and I'm always picking up crombie coats all the time and I just sell them straight away because they are just a classic coat and they will sell. Um, and then we've got this one which is Jack Reed. So it's Jack Reed. Again, a really nice jacket. It's got the the vent at the end there and then we have the Jack Reed down here. It says Jack Reed there, you can see it. Jack Reed and then luxury Italian wool blend. Anything that says Italian in clothes, just pick up because honestly, most Italian wear, it's got Italian on it, 
is fabulous, absolutely fabulous. I picked up some stuff a few months ago now, but it was Italian and it was for women. It was a jacket. And I think I paid about three or four pounds for it. Went on eBay for nearly 50 pounds. So yeah, just a tip there. Italian, definitely. for children's clothes but what I will do if I see a good jacket that I think is going to sell I'll pick it up so this is River Island it's 11 to 12 years it's only like a child's jacket but it's a really nice leather jacket got a nicer pair of jeans on a little girl teenager near enough teenager <laughs> 11 to 12 um, but yeah loved it absolutely loved it or maybe you know a size zero could wear this <laughs> but yeah so i thought that's a good little pickup find as well again i checked it check it all over check the back of it i always check everything check the check the lining yeah it's all perfect the only thing it needs doing is hanging up because what happens is when people put them into bags and stuff and we carry them they sometimes get <laughs> a little bit creased i think next time what I might do is take one of those um, suit covers so that when I do buy the clothes, I'm going to ask them just to put them. I'm going to have some hangers, another suit, and I'm going to put them on the hanger and I'm going to fold them over my arm and I'm going to put them in the car. I think that's going to be a lot better because they always get creased up. I don't know why. So that was River Island. This one, again, is a child's coat, but bear with it is jewels and it's seven to eight and i haven't actually found one on ebay like it to be honest with you i've been on ebay to look for it for it it's a lovely little coat it's blue navy blue it's got a lovely lining to it um i was looking at the fabric it is 60 percent wool 40 percent visco as well it's got 100 percent line polyester lining in it look how beautiful the colors are inside wouldn't any little girl want to wear that and it's got a lovely little hood as well so yes yeah, so it's got a hood on it as well and then it says jewels and it's brand new so you know and if you know jewels you know jewels clothing is, is actually quite a very good like you know, desirable high street make so yeah so yeah so i thought right great so i picked that one up as well that should do all right it's got a duffel it's got a duffel of duffel as well right at the top and the thing that i actually do like about this coat just quickly is the when you zip it up you don't see the zips they're such smart little girls coats when you don't see the zip i can remember getting those from my my little ones when they were little and the last one is this which is a size 22 so it's a bit of a larger lady um, this was actually four pounds um, it does have matching things it says with it but it's quite a nice little jacket quite a nice little jacket it's from Marks and Spencers um, it'd go over you wouldn't go over something maybe if you're going out for dinner or something so it's a nice little jacket I don't know where to keep it yet I quite like it to be honest with you but I'm trying to be good I'm trying to be good <laughs> So yeah, so that was a little jacket there. So yeah, some of my clothes that I picked up. Hi, so thank you for watching um, my first video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It was also the clothing. So the next video will be the ornaments video, um, bric-a-brac, things like that. So yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoy that and postcards as well. Um, but thank you for watching my first one. And yeah, it's a little bit later now. I had to um, half the video because it was too long. Um, so I've had to do a um, sort of like introduction and an ending again. So that's why I'm in different clothes here. It's quite chilly in my, my lounge as well. So that's why I've got a jumper on. But yeah. But thank you very much and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the next one. Take care. Bye.